Hi guys, this is Dinar Min School and in this class we're going to study a radical piece of cloth, tin. This radical has only one form, we are very lucky, and this form you will see in characters and it is used as a separate word. Now let's see how we draw it. Three strokes. One. Two. Three. And now let's study its history. In ancient times we see Chinese, they draw a piece of cloth on a stick and it was a flag or a banner. And we see in time it uh, was simplified and still looks the same, in my opinion. In the past, these type of banners, they were used by artisans craftsmen and you could read information what kind of things you can buy from them. Now let's study characters with this radical. And the first example it's a word market. We see piece of cloth here because you remember in markets we have different artisans who have banners with information about their things and goods. That's why market has this radical. The second example it's a word textiles. Boo. No need to explain textiles, they are pieces of cloth. The last example, it's a word, head, scarf, turban, to wrap. Pa. And of course, you need pieces of cloth for your turban. That's why this character has our radical. And now let's study examples in which our radical is used as a separate word. The first example, it's a very useful thing which we use every day. It's a towel. Mao jing. Mao means hair of an animal, wool, tin, piece of cloth, together towel, because usually towels they are soft like wool. And the next example it's a word, tissue, paper, towel, zhi, jin, zhi. paper, jin, piece of cloth, together tissue. Guys, please write down what are your favorite textiles and write down the names of these textiles in Chinese. We finished our class. I wish all our classes at school and university were so fast and logical as ours nowadays. Push this bell button, it will remind you about our next class, in which we're going to study radical door. 门, 谢谢大家, 再见.